I was not recording that whole time. Oh shit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the Fly Natural here, and I am back with another video. Welcome to my channel if you are new, and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. If you are new and not yet subscribed, what you doing? Hit that subscribe button, join the family because you're gonna love it here. Okay. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the misconceptions that we have when it comes to locks, okay? Because I had an interesting conversation with my mom regarding my hair last night, and it kind of got me to thinking, and now we're here. So thanks mom for inspiring this video. Now before we go any further into the video, I just wanna let y'all know we got this window open right here and my kids are in the next room. So if y'all hear any background noise, I do apologize in advance, but life is lifing and you are gonna hear some stuff here. Wow. So let's get to today's video. Now, the first misconception that people have when it comes to locks is that there is no versatility in locks. And this is actually what my mom said to me last night. She was just like, oh, I love your hair, but I cannot, I don't like the fact that you can't do anything. It has to look like that all the time. Honey boo boo, that is not the case. When it comes to locks, especially micro locks, but when it comes to locks, you can do anything with locks that you can do with your loose natural hair. You can dye your locks, you can curl your locks, you can wash your locks. If you wanna put some braids over your locks, you can do that. You wanna pop a wig on, you can do that too. Everything that you can do with loose natural hair, you can do with locks. And a lot of people feel like if they wanna get locks, they're just gonna be stuck to one particular look. No, you're not. I like wearing my locks the way that they are. But if I do get a little bored with them, I'm gonna throw some curlers in there. I'm gonna do me a quick little braid out. I'm gonna do me a cute little style. Hell, you know, I put extensions over my locks before. And I still get that same versatility that I get when I do my loose natural hair. So that's one misconception right there. You do have versatility when it comes to your locks. The second misconception, which is also something my mother mentioned to me, people with locks, we do wash our hair. We do, we, we definitely do wash our hair. See, I don't even know where this misconception came from. It might be because of the big influx of people that are doing these lock rejuvenation videos where they show the worst case scenario with people with locks that are dry and old and matted and have like six years plus of dirt in them. Those are some of the most extreme cases and extreme scenarios, but that is not all locked individuals. Me, I wash my hair every week, especially since I am starting to work out and I'm getting sweaty all the time. I wash my hair every week. I have to keep my hair clean, gotta keep the scalp clean. Just because your hair is locked, that does not mean that your hair doesn't get dirty. That doesn't mean that your hair doesn't need to be clean and maintained. You do wash your locks when you're locked. Or the next misconception that I've heard time and time again with people with locks is that they don't do their hair. Now, I'm not 100% sure of what that means, you don't do your hair. So I'm just gonna kinda assume that they mean they don't maintenance it, like retie or retwist their hair. I'm assuming that that's what that means. But you have a choice on how often you choose to maintenance your hair. With me having um, micro locks, I tend to do maintenance on my hair anywhere between every six to eight weeks. People who have larger locks might go between two to three months without maintenance in their hair. It's a choice. You have some people who every couple of, every inch or so of new growth, they're gonna interlock, they're gonna reach with, they're gonna do it. Then you have others that has let theirs grow out and they love the thick root look. That's the beauty of having locks. You can do whatever you want to your locks. You have the choice on whether you wanna keep them nice and neat and put together. And then you have that option to where you could just let it be all natural because that's the beauty of locks it's hair freedom you have that choice so the last so the last misconception that i got um which my mother said that it takes a lot of work to maintain my hair that having locks is too much work now i can only speak for me and myself having micro locks and maintaining them myself having locks is definitely hair freedom i don't have to do anything to my hair if I don't want to. I can literally take my bonnet off in the morning, 
shake it and walk out the door. My hair is always done, whether it's interlocked or whether it's not, it's always done. But when I do maintenance my hair, it does take me a while to maintenance my hair. Now I will say this retie is about two days old and it literally only took me six hours to get this done. I'm so proud of myself. I don't know how I did that, but my retie's have definitely been getting a lot quicker over these past couple of years. I'm almost four years in this thing, so I guess it's paying off. But honestly, I just explained to my mom, yes, going through my hair and retying every single individual lock is time consuming. But I only have to do that once every month, month and a half, if I choose to. Other than that, I don't have to maintenance my hair. I don't have to style it and do all the extra stuff that she does to her hair. I'm like, I don't have to. I can just get up and go walk out the door, boom, shake it, I look good. I don't have to get up and brush it and stuff. I don't have to do that. Even though it does take a while to do a retie when you are initially getting your hair done, the payoff is I only have to do it that one time and I can ride that out for a month and a half. So, yeah. I love my locks. And locking my hair was the best decision that I've ever made for my hair. And I will continue to say that I, that's a heel I'm willing to stand on because locking my hair was honestly the best decision that I made for my hair. And with, you know, with everything, it does have its pros and cons. But those were a couple of misconceptions I had to clear up because my mom was really on one during this phone conversation. I don't know what she was on, but, you know, she was coming to my neck and I had to break it down for her. I even went over my wash routine with my mom. She was very confused because she's like, girl, you wash your hair? I'm like, yes, I wash my hair, crazy lady. It's still my hair. It's locked, but you got to keep it clean. I wish to my Anyway, so that's all I have for today's video. Let me know some misconceptions that you've heard about locks or some that has been placed on you because you do have locks. Let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video on your way out. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace.